Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And this video is going to show you how to manually update the Gmox Q. The Gmox Q is getting a major firmware update right now. It goes up to firmware update 2.0 and it will give you Lollipop, Lollipop 5.1. Currently, there is an OTA update rollout going on, but if you want to go ahead and update it manually, this is how you do it. And who knows, one day the update might be messed up and you might need a manual update. You're going to start at the website, the streamingadvisor.com, go over here to the little magnifying glass and search for Gbox Q. It's already populating, but you might want to put 2.0. And there you are. How to manually install the Gbox Q firmware update. Okay. So, here we are. And you'll see that you have pictures and you know, instructions for if you're you know, someone who would rather read directions. They're here. I think it's nice to put it all together with a video too. So, here's what you do. You need a full-sized SD card and a computer with an SD card reader. So, even if your laptop or computer doesn't have one, you can always attach one USB, but you need to be able to access it through the computer. We have the files that you need to use to get started right here. So, you're going to download the factory param update, the recovery image, and this guy right here looks like a pile of books. What are books, right? That's what your grandkids are going to say. All right. Looks like the first two are set. And then we're just waiting on the last. And what we're going to do while that gets ready is go over here to this, these three lines up at the top. Your, your Chrome browser may be silver. That's another thing. You definitely want to be using the Chrome browser when you do this. We've tested it and found that it works the best. You want to tap up here with these three bars and go ahead and take the downloads. And you see here we've got the downloads folder. This is the two files that we downloaded and the other one is just finishing up. It says it's got no seconds left. Let's see. You all ready? It still looks like it's not quite there. If we refresh. All right, great, all ready. Okay, so you see these guys? You need to select them in order to move forward. So the way you wanna do that is go to where it says show in folder and just open one, right? And there we are, there are the three things right there. You see that we downloaded them just a second ago. So what you wanna do is select them. You take this, you want to hit control, you take that, and you take this. All right, so now we've got our three files. You want to right click and copy. Next, we're going to be putting in our SD card. And what you'll do is just open a folder. You can open the downloads folder. You want to go to my P this PC here. And go to the SD cards. You want to right click. And select format. Because you have to have a card formatted. That's what it means when you see the kind of complicated directions when it says you know, paste the files onto the root of an SD card. It means format it. Notice it is set for 
this fat 32 default and I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to go to the defaults. All right. So restore defaults defaults. And stop. Yes. And just like that. Okay. So it's now formatted, so we'll close that. And we'll go ahead and open the SD card. And we're going to want to paste it. So you can either right click or hit Control V. And we're pasting the documents in. This is the most exciting part of the video because you get to watch the green line. I think you'll really like the new update for the Gbox. Uh, I do. It's it's nice to have the lollipop interface in the background. It pretty much looks the same. You'll, you'll see what I mean. All right. So those finals are in place. Now, you'd think by looking at instructions that now you're all set. Just take the card out, insert it into the computer. But there's something very important. You notice this. 3, 8, and 4. Now, your finals are going to look different. And if you've never downloaded any of this stuff ever before, it might even all be the same. But the thing is this, is if you've been downloading different firmwares, maybe you've even tried to do an update and it didn't work, it's going to, you know, it, it records it every single time. Like I've recorded, I've, I've brought down a lot of things called recovery. And so, you know, it's got eight of them, and four of these, and three of those. So you actually want to take those numbers out of these files. So you want to select it and right click and just erase that. And same thing here. Select it. Click on it, erase it. Here, you know, you actually want to take the four out of the middle of that. So, you want it to read as prim dot aml. And now you're actually ready to do the factory reset. So, you want to Finish that up, close it, and eject it safely. Go oh, away, you. Okay. So you eject it right here. Do, 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 do. And not stop. Oh, we probably gotta close this. <sighs> Come on, guys. I'm about to do it not the safe way. In fact, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pull it. So here we go. And now what we're going to do is put the card into the G box's actual section here. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now keep in mind that the GMOX 
SD cards go in upside down. All right, so here we are in the G box. And what we're going to do is go into where it says system settings. We're going to go to reboot recovery. And it's going to shut down. And now it's going to reset for us, and you see the little Android guy loading up. This can take some time, so we're probably going to skip through a bit of this. But if you like authenticity, you might enjoy seeing the little blue line go through. This process can take a couple of minutes. And we're going to stop it here. Oh, maybe we don't have to. I was going to say we're going to stop it here and join on the other side, but it looks like it's going to go faster than I was afraid it would. It's kind of cool how Android's stuck with the same little look all this time. All right, so now we're resetting, and it's going to take us, and it's going to do an update of all of the Android stuff. All of, you know, say, updating Android. I like the little intro. Well, let's skip that for us. Thought you might want to skip having to watch all of the update one, update two, update three. But as you see, this looks just like the G-Box did before. But here's the difference. If you look into system settings and then advanced settings, see, you've got the lollipop look. This is Android 5.0. And that, my friends, is how you do the update. So just remember, you need the right sized SD card in at least 16 gigabytes, less than 32, or 32 or less than 16. Then you need those files. You need to follow those instructions. Like I said, the website itself has full instructions as to how to get to this point. And you should be good to go. Just remember, take a good look at those file names because it makes all the difference in the world. If it says AML4 and you know build parameter 2 and so on and so forth, you're going to get all kinds of messages like failure to do this, failure to do that, you know, didn't load, blah, 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 all of those things that you've been frustrated with. That's why it's doing that. Because it happened to me about eight times. Finally, I said, hmm, I wonder if this is what it is. It was just a good guess. And that's what I did. That's how you can fix it. And it's pretty much painless. Now, if you don't have the firmware 1.4, you're not going to be able to get the update. You can't do it from 1.2.1 and so on. That's one thing I need to mention before. So... You should be good to go. I hope you found this helpful. Please share it with your friends. And as always, I'm Ryan Downey. Give us another subscription. We're almost close to 5,000. 
And as I always say, stream on, my friends.